five. Fantastic. All right. Greetings, hacksters. Welcome to Thursday. It is October 10th, 1010, no matter where you are, and we have something really cool for you relating to that. Is the new NXP uh, i.mx RT 1010 crossover microcontroller. How's that for a thematic? Anyway, uh, so this was just announced today. We have um, a press release up here that I can pull up for you. If I'm in the right window. <laughs> there we go. All right, yeah, so NXP launches the gigahertz microcontroller area. The thing to get excited about here is that this tiny little microcontroller runs at 500 megahertz. It has a lot of power behind it, and um, it's one of these new uh, crossover MCUs that NXP is doing. Uh, they combine the higher CPU speeds and multimedia interfaces and expandable memory of an application's processor into an MCU form factor designed for low cost and fast development time. So, uh, the idea is that it's a full featured microcontroller, but at the same time it's at a low price point and it, it uh, has fast turnover. So, in keeping with the 1010 theme, uh, this is going to be available for $10.10 online, and we'll give you the link for that in the description to this video. It is not the RT1010 Tambourine, which you can find conveniently on Amazon. It is the IMX RT1010 Crossover MCU with ARM Cortex M7 core from, <laughs> from NXP. So we're going to take a look at it. Let's uh, get this box open. I haven't actually... Well, I've, I've opened this, but I haven't taken the thing out yet because I want to give you an authentic experience. <laughs> they told me I could open it, but I wanted to wait. Plus, it's more fun for me, you know? All right, so we got some packing foam. We've got what looks like a uh, shipping li packing list. Yes. Ooh, they gave me a, a USB cord as well. Fantastic. Uh, so we've got more pink packing foam. And here we have the dev kit and the USB cable. I'm not going to set this up today because we're going to do some follow-up videos where we do go through all of that. Uh, I want to show you in brief what's on the board and then where you can go for more information about uh, programming it and stuff and we'll get to that later. Ooh, hi! <laughs> so <clears throat> besides having a tiny little uh, low profile package here, um, that is it, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> sometimes I point to the wrong thing. Anyway, here is your little uh, microcontroller, and then you've actually got Arduino breakouts over here, so that you can plug in Arduino uh, shields and things and connect it to that, which is pretty rad. You've got four-pole audio out, you've got speakers, uh, a speaker connection, which um, I think that would be these guys, but I'm not totally sure. I'll have to have a look at that. Uh, you've got some buttons, you've got USB on-the-go connections, um, and you also have a microphone on board. So one of the main uh, draws of this board is that it is a speed, of course, and so you can do lots of real-time audio stuff, real-time signal processing, motor control, and things like that, as well as AI-type applications. Oh, all kinds of, of options with this. Now that I've got it out here, I don't want to stop looking at it, but we should look at the website some more. Uh, I'll, I'll do this later. I'll do my little golem thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, we've got this main page linked in the description of this video. This is for the microcontroller chip itself. And then there's also a separate page for the dev board. Um, you can read about the whole architecture of it in here uh, and then I think this takes you to the same page that I'm about to show you, uh, which is the... Oh, this is a different one. Come here. No, it's the same thing. Okay. <laughs> uh, this page is very convenient because it has a big orange get started button right there, uh, which takes you to some very helpful information. You can also access the specs. You can get links to buy it, documentation and software, and places to get help. As they mention here, you can get it for just 1010 through December 2019. Um, yeah, it's got an audio codec, micro OTG connectors, um, an Arduino interface. We talked about all this stuff already, I think, except for MCU Expresso, uh, the SDK and IDE. So, 
uh, we'll get to that in just a second, on this getting started page, you can choose between a couple of different development options. The MCU Expresso software, which is free and you don't have to pay for anything. Uh, you probably have to sign in or to download it, but that's about it. And uh, it's pretty open source friendly. It says, um, the MCU Expresso SDK is complimentary and includes full source code under a permissive open source license for all hardware and abstraction and peripheral driver software. Uh, and then you can download a pre-configured SDK release for this specific kit, which makes your life easier. And then you install the tool chain and stuff. Um, although you can also use other tool chains if you like. And then you also have an option to use the Zephyr project, which I've never actually looked into before, but it's a scalable open source real-time operating system. Uh, and it supports multiple hardware architectures, including this one. Very exciting. I looked in a little bit into the MCU Expresso uh, IDE. It is an Eclipse-based development environment for MC or NXP microcontrollers <clears throat> based on ARM Cortex-M cores, including these guys. So uh, this is kind of a fire hose right now, but we're gonna do a few more videos on this system. So don't worry about getting it all right now. You can access the links in the description to this video. I'm gonna go away and uh, just take a closer look at this thing because it's gonna be my friend for the next couple weeks. Oh, and speaking of the next couple weeks, we have a webinar coming up on October 24th. So I'm going to put the link to that in the description of this video as well. You'll be able to pre-register so that you get notifications and stuff about when it's coming up uh, and how to prepare for that, as well as some more helpful links. And yeah, again, that's going to be on October 24th. Before then, we'll be releasing some more videos about how to actually program it and stuff, as well as some demos. I was just at Arm Tech Con yesterday and went to the NXP booth and saw a cool little motor controller demo and a little audio MP3 player demo that I think you're going to enjoy as well. So lots of stuff coming up. Stay tuned and hack on.